Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my first episode on my podcast, The Stink Podcast. And today, we're going to be talking about the Steelers' uh, free agency moves. Uh, we're going to be talking about Justin Fields, um, the breakdown for Justin Fields. Then we're going to take a break, and then we're going to do the Ravens, Derrick Henry's impact. We're going to be the Boone, the Browns, and defense overview for the Browns. And then we're going to take a five-minute break. And then we're going to have Bengals, new offense, and then we're going to do a little break, and then we're going to have a mock draft in the division rankings at the end of the show. So hope you guys enjoy. And this will be on YouTube. It's live on Twitch right now, so make sure to view that and make sure to follow me on X at Big Stink Jake. Wait, wait. Big Stink Jake because I do post on X and I – yeah. Dealers got Justin Fields today. And basically, they traded a six-round pick for Justin Fields that could turn into a fourth-round pick. Basically, we got him for cheap, and we also are paying him three point two twenty-three million. Um, very cheap. Our quarterback room is like five million. That's pretty cheap. So we can still get other positions um, besides Justin, um, besides quarterback. Now, I mean, the Steelers' needs are receiver and offensive lineman. That I can say they can hit in the draft, but. Yeah, so now we're gonna um, we're gonna view Justin Fields, and we're gonna show you guys his stats, and we're gonna do a little breakdown on him right now. Okay, so here we are with the st- Oop, wrong quarterback. Okay, Justin Fields. This season, um, he did very well with the Steelers. This season, um, I meant not with the Steelers. <laughs> very well with the Bears. I mean, for Steelers, I would like I like this a little bit. Um, passing yards he did not do well, but in the run game, um, did pretty well in the run game. I think I don't know where that stat is, but I think he did very well here rushing. I mean, he gets like the game against the Cardinals, ninety-seven yards, a touchdown. It's crazy, crazy, forty almost a forty-yard run. That's pretty insane for a quarterback. 16 touchdowns. Um, his offense was weak kind of last year. That's like Kenny Pickett's number last year. And then nine receptions, not too bad. QBR um, 46.1. I mean, it's not too bad, but he's um he's a project quarterback. And basically what the Steelers need right now is youth. And they have youth with Justin Fields right now. He's 25. Russell Wilson's 34. I mean, he has the height. He has big hands. He's a big, big quarterback. And if you look at his all-time stats, if you look at his all-time stats, I mean, he could, he can throw the ball. 6,000 is 6,674 yards in his past three seasons. Not too bad, but it could be a little bit better. But I do like the 40 touchdowns, and I do not like the 30 interceptions. But he, he was on the crappy Bears team. And I mean, with Arthur Smith's offense with the new Steelers OC, I mean, the Steelers are going to probably be running RPOs. They're going to be running uh, play action, little like bootlegs and stuff, and they're going to be running. So, I also a thing I like about Justin Fields is his running ability. Um, Two thousand yards rushing in his three years is pretty insane. Fourteen touchdowns from the ground. And honestly, that's that's pretty good for a quarterback. I mean, 2022 was his breakout year. He had 1,000 yards. That's pretty crazy. That's more than Najee Harris last season. So, I mean, running quarterback is going to be well for the Steelers. And, I mean, he doesn't miss a lot of games. Last season, he missed thir- um, He had played 13 games. So, he did miss a little bit, but he was injured um, in the beginning of the season. But 2002, um, 2022, 15 um, games played. So that's not too bad. Now, the thing I also like about Justin Fields is um, he's he's young, and that's what the Steelers need. Is um, They need a young quarterback. And here, let's see. Let's see when he played the Steelers. 2022. Nope, that's 21. Okay. So 2021, this is um, Big Ben's last season. Um, he played decent against the Steelers. Um, 
almost 300 yards passing, pretty good. Um, he got one touchdown, one reception, took three sacks, and he had he had 45 um, rushing yards. That's that's not too bad. Um, I mean, I think the Steelers defense just shut him down, but. Yeah, well, with Justin Fields, I do like the move. I think he's just going to be a little project to work on for Arthur Smith's new offense and Mike Tomlin. So I do like the move, though. Now we're going to go break down his film quickly. So with Justin Fields, uh, okay, it's muted. Okay. So the thing I like about Justin Fields, first of all, is he, he runs – out of the pocket. I think that's what the Steelers need. And they need a um, person that makes plays outside of the pocket. And right here, he throws it. I mean, the pass is pretty good pass to receiver. That's all the way over here. So, like, he is throwing a little bit cross body here. I mean, solid. Look at the 58. Doesn't block anybody. Look at this guy's not blocking. He's just watching. So, like, I mean, they had a bad offensive line. Like, Look at look at this guy right here. He's not even he's looking at the quarterback. This guy is about to get beat. This guy's not even blocking. And I mean, this linebacker is crumbing down, crashing. He's probably like the spy for Justin Fields, but I mean, he throws a decent pass and it Darnell Mooney just catches it and that's a pretty good ball for Justin Fields. Next play, it's like with him. It says a pistol. I mean, they have it one tight end. I just like I like look, look at the offensive line. This guy's not blocking. I mean, I think with the Steelers, he'll actually have time in the pocket and he'll actually make plays. But the guys are not even blocking for him. And this play, look, he just slings it. That was a perfect ball. And he, amount of time. Wait, let's watch that again. The amount of time he has in the pocket is very little. So he has to get that ball out, but he throws it right on right to the receiver that was a perfect ball for justin fields okay like look at this view nice it's perfectly thrown pass that's that's what something kenny pickett didn't do he can't throw like the elite passes now this is week two of the nfl um this is where they're wearing their orange uniforms. Again, they they have the tight end formation, kind of like Arthur Smith's offense. Um, they have DJ Moore right here. And, I mean, look at – you see the play action. Oop. He, play action right here. And he just throws it over um, 35. I think that's Jamal Dean. But, again, he makes he makes plays. Now, this formation, they're in um, – they are in um, – they got doubles, so and they're they're they look like they're gonna be blitzing. It's third and five. I also just like the time he has, and he throws a pretty good ball, but that that ball could have been intercepted right there. But it's okay, it's okay. But DJ Moore just does make the play as a elite wide receiver. He is um, to give that couple of yards. Okay, now they're in a. Here's, let's go back quickly. So now they're in an ISO formation. Um, they have their fullback in the back, the running back. So this, again, they're going to fake it to the running back. Everybody's expecting the run. He just bootlegs it and takes it to the, to, to the end zone. And that's what I like about him. He makes plays with his legs, and that's what the Steelers didn't have last season. I mean, the Steelers are going to be a running team this season, but, again, Little again, Claypool. That was a terrible block. Did not even do anything to the guy. But Justin Fields just outruns Claypool's guy to get to the end zone. That's what I like about him. So that they're in a trips formation. I mean, the offense line did well. He just throws it right on the money. Here we go. Next play. Again, he throws he throws a dot to Claypool. That's it's very good right there. This guy just trips, but Win Winfield, all pro right here, guys, um, throws it right into that spot for him to make the pass. Pretty good for Justin Fields. Like, look, look at that view right there. Perfect. 
Okay, let's fast forward a bit because this is when they got whooped. Ooh, okay, this was their first win of the season, I think. Here we go. Again, I like the deep ball, deep ball for Justin Fields. I mean, offensive line's doing pretty good. He had, he does have the check down right here. Um, he could hit that, but he just throws it deep, beats the corner. That's um, McCoolin or something. But DJ Moore making a great play like he always does. Look at that catch. Again, another pass right in the middle, wide open receiver. That's just – he finds the open guy. That's what I like about him. They're in a fullback little trick play. Ooh. Let's, let's, let's break this down. Mm, wait, where did that guy come from? The safety. I think maybe maybe they could have the offensive line protection maybe, but I think that's just the free guy. I mean, he probably just had to get it out. But the receiver still makes the catch. That's St. Brown's um, brother. Again, you have the bootleg, use his legs, find the open receiver. I like that about him. Let's skip to like here. Okay, this is week week five against the Commanders. This is when they blew him out. Finds the open receiver. I mean, the linebacker could have done better coverage, but he just, just threw it right, right where he needs to be. Right here, this guy's probably – he is the check down. This guy's going to get him. This guy's going out. He's probably going to commit right here probably. Yep, called it. Going back to that play – with 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 um Arthur Smith's offense, they are going to utilize the tight end. When he was with the Titans, I mean, he was good OC with the Titans. But when he ever since he went to the Falcons, I don't think it was all his fault. I think it was the offense corner for the Falcons. I think he'll do much better with the Steelers as OC. Again, this guy gets beat. He sees that on his side view, so he has to throw it right here. And perfect, perfect ball. Like, look, look at that view right here. He just throws it right there. Perfect. Motions Mooney to the right. Quarterback run. This is, I think, this is what the Steelers are going to be doing a lot this season. So they're going to have two two people pull um, something the Steelers don't do. They usually pull one tackle or the guard. The Steelers should pull pull the more of the guard. Daniels is so big, he'll just clog up the hole and make way. But everybody else is blocking down. This guy is blocking down. This guy's getting this guy. So you have Davis and um, Wright. They're going to be faking the pitch so this guy can scream down and try to get tackle the running back. Fields is going to take it. Look at that. And that blocking is not that good for 58. Look at that. Just leans on his shoulder. I'm like, uh, he should use his hands more. But this guy, this is just bad blocking right here. Thank God he just broke that tackle. That's holding right there from um, Cole Komet on 31. And just gets gets the first down. Again, he's making plays with his legs. That's what the Steelers need. Again, per nice little ball. I think he forced that one a little bit. I wouldn't like that if I would have hit Mooney right there because Mooney's going out. He's coming back. He's doing like a comeback. He's doing like a kind of like a post kind of like a shallow route. But this guy just missed a Forbes, the rookie. I mean, that happens when you're a rookie. So, but I mean, yeah, GJ Moore just makes the play then. Okay, let's skip to here. Okay, here we go. This is probably week 13, I'll say. That's holding right there. Um, 70 gets beat right there. Here, let's watch it again. Yeah, 70 just gets beat. Perfect. Ooh, that's a good ball. 
That was a nice first down. False start, free play. You got to go deep. Yeah, but perfectly thrown. Touchdown. Wow. Okay, so that's it with Justin Fields' film breakdown. Um, so basically, he's he's a good player. He just needs to have a better offensive line, I'll say. And also, making he's forcing the ball a little bit, I'll say. With that one, he was just forcing it a little bit. Okay, so that's it with Justin Fields. If you guys enjoy NFL Talk Show, make sure to hit me up on Twitch and X at Big Stink Jake on both accounts. And because I'll be live streaming and I do breakdowns of free agency and also some players um, that go with new teams. So if you're interested, make sure to like and subscribe and make sure to stay tuned for NFL Talk Shows and my podcast. See you guys.